It's July the 24th and the uh, sixth line is being installed and we're expecting a little rain today. This is the berm that they've uh, set up and it's Wednesday, July the 25th I believe. Berm. They're doing a great job when it comes to uh, protecting the uh, lower river area. Week two of the Paper Mill Lake uh, Dam rebuild was a busy week. It saw the uh, placement of four additional uh, siphon lines from the lake, which bring the total to eight, uh, with a peak capacity of approximately 1,100 liters per second. It also saw the uh, movement of some fish that have been trapped at the base of the dam for the last uh, couple of weeks in a small pool. And there was uh, 20 or so uh, trout and smallmouth bass which were moved from the base of the dam back into the main body of the lake. The trees that were allowing for the uh, stormwater bypass, which is part of the Canadian uh, Dam Act, which is requ a requirement for any new dam or rebuild, uh, trees were removed and cleaned up uh, and from the uh, sill side of the dam. The silt berms were put in place. Uh, there's a silt berm approximately 200 yards down the run. It's a larger uh, filter fabric berm which is uh, protecting the uh, lower part of the run and also a, a crusher rock uh, berm uh, just under the footbridge uh, with uh, filter fabric as well on the upper part uh, protecting from the excavation and any silt that may be generated. The excavation also started this week and saw the removal of uh, most of the large rock and uh, they're now clearing the uh, pad at the base of the, uh, of the dam. So week two, uh, it's been a busy week. The lake dropped approximately four feet. Uh, it's anticipated they're going to need somewhere between 10 and 12 feet reduction in the water level to uh, fully facilitate the rebuilding of the dam. So we look forward to uh, week three and uh, Stay tuned for further updates on that next week. Hope you enjoy.